Hi my little chocolate muffins, this is Clear from Games of Refight, and if you guys have been following the Facebook page, you'll know how all my computer stuff has been falling apart recently, so unfortunately this isn't going to be very fancy. However, I would like to do a little mini review talking about Halo 4. So you guys know I am a huge Halo fan, I've played every Halo game, including Halo Wars, and um, the series is very dear to my heart. I have a lot of fond memories of staying up till 4 in the morning, playing it with my friends when we were 16 years old, um, doing our kamikaze thing where we would all, you know, one of us would charge forward, throw our grenades, and then die, and then the next person would do the same, and you know, we just have a lot of, a lot of fond memories of Halo, and I also get really aggressive whenever anybody says that Halo has no storyline because it totally has a storyline, you're just dumb. Anyway, so Halo 4, uh, if you guys apparently live on a rock and didn't know, uh, is the first Halo game being made by a company not Bungie. Not being that. Being made by a company other than Bungie. It was made by, I always say their name wrong, I think it's 343 Studios. Where is it? There, yeah, 343 Industries, uh, which is not Bungie, but it's made up, in my understanding, from a number of people who actually worked on all the other Halo stuff, all the uh, comics and the novels and the toys, and and I think the Halo Encyclopedia was put out by them. So they're not they're not you know just this company that Bungie picked up off the street or anything. They have been ushered into the Halo franchise um, for years now. And I'm sure the most important question that most people are wondering about Halo Four is. Does it feel like the other Halos? Well, it does, and it doesn't. Um, the fighting and the combat is all very much the same. Um, of course, you don't have the Flood in this one, which I was kind of sad about because I like popping Flood. But you do have the Prometheans who are kind of living android types. And one thing I like about the, an uh, uh, the Prometheans is that um, the Knights, who are like the main Prometheans, they don't really have a very easy to identify point that you just, you know, headshot and then they're dead. You know, they're kind of difficult no matter where you're shooting from. They also have a range of weapons, and yes, you can pick up the weapons. I didn't really like any of their weapons. I mean, the light rifle, which is kind of like the combine or the DMR of the Promethean world, is, uh, it's okay, but, you know, it was not my first choice. I still like the DMR and the Needler and everything like that. Um, and, and that's another thing is, is, are the weapons the same? And, yeah. But the Prometheans are nice because they are different, uh, they're a different combat dynamic than the Covenant because, you know, a lot of them can fly. There's these little dog-like Prometheans that run around on all the walls and they can shoot you. And I feel kind of bad killing them because they seem like dogs and I don't like killing animals. But uh, they're kind of easy to kill. You just shoot them right in the mouth. And actually they remind me a lot of Skags from Borderlands and I, I can't help but wonder if the people that designed them had played Borderlands because they're really similar. But... Does it feel like a Halo game? It does in the combat. It does mostly in the storyline. Um, actually, a lot of the points that don't feel like Halo are kind of an improvement. The storyline... Halo definitely does have a storyline, but in the earlier games it was kind of, you know, kill, 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 kill sort of a storyline. But in this one, um, the main issue of the storyline, and I don't think this is too much of a spoiler because you learn about it right away, is basically Cortana is now eight years old. And apparently in the Halo world, uh, once AI gets past seven years old, they start to uh, be affected by this thing called redundancy, where they basically, in Cortana, Cortana's words, think themselves to death. And so she's basically having this sort of psychotic breakdown as you're playing the game. And you feel really bad because it's this whole deep-rooted issue of, is artificial intelligence real intelligence? You know, she knows she's a machine, but does she feel, and, and does she know she's dying, basically dying, and how does she feel about that? And there's some very good lines, I don't want to ruin them, but there's some good lines in there that I seriously almost, <laughs> almost cried because I was like, Gordana! Um, and I'm, all the voice actors are the same. Um, you know, it's kind of weird because I watched the Forward Unto Dawn little webisode things that they did before they came out with Halo 4, which are kind of related, and um, it made me realize that it's kind of weird. I've never actually... No, I did, I did read the Halo books, but I read them a long time ago, and the character of Master Chief, he's actually supposed to be like this kid who is biochemically super enhanced and everything like that, and um, it's a really complicated backstory that they never really mentioned in the games. 
Um, so if you're interested in that, I would, I would definitely check out the novels and whatnot. But anyway, tangent. So the storyline is thicker. The storyline is thicker. That's an odd word. Bigger. I don't know. <laughs> All these euphemisms. Okay, the storyline is more in-depth. There we go. That can't be taken in any sexual connotation, I think. Well, it could. You can take anything. Anyway! <laughs> and the combat is very similar to Halo. At the same time, there were parts that were kind of... Eh. Um, one thing is that the campaign is really, really short. Uh, I played it by myself on Legendary, and I beat it in, like, I want to say four or five hours. And that's with lots and lots and lots of dying and redoing areas. So... You know, if it took me that long and I take forever at games, then a person who's really good at Halo probably would beat in like an hour or two. And that's that's kind of disappointing because it's the first game since Halo 3, which came out years ago, that is actually about Master Chief. And, you know, so I was hoping for this whole continuation of the, the storyline with Master Chief and everything. And there is continuation, like I said, there's, you know, between him and Cortana and stuff, other stuff, but there's a lot of unfinished threads because they kind of get lost on this whole hunting down the didact Promethean guy and the whole Halo, I mean the whole Master Chief and Cortana thing kind of falls into the cracks I guess as it were but I'm hoping that they're going to explore it more in the next game but at the same time I'm kind of irritated that 343 with their very first Halo game is already establishing this sort of Bioware Mass Effect-ish thing of nothing's concluded so you have to buy the next game and it's like really you know I I had to spend what 60 70 dollars to get this game and I do like multiplayer but I'm not one of these people that plays it all day every day I like to have a robust single player campaign or not even single player you can play it with you know co-op but um it's just I don't like this attitude that a lot of games companies are having where they're kind of shifting away from single player and focusing on multiplayer because people keep coming back from multiplayer but you know there are people like me still out there who like single player who like to have an actual storyline with our game so so please don't forget about us in your eagerness to cap on the whole millions of call of duty fanboy players so i'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in that but honestly the game could have been so much worse and i i feel like i'm i'm sound like i'm backpedaling but i swear i just think that it could have been a lot worse but anyway this has gone really long and i'm sorry about that i i will definitely come up with a more concise review once i have a working motherboard and stuff again and i can actually edit um but i just wanted to say it, it is fun i don't know if i would necessarily spend 60 bucks on it unless you really like halo, halo multiplayer um there are they are adding a lot of multiplayer stuff that I haven't even played with yet because my internet situation right now is not so good. But if you only like Halo for the single player, I would wait until it goes down in price, which I'm sure will be pretty soon. Um, but if you want to play online with me, when I do have internet again, my Xbox Live name is Bane Raid, B-A-N-E space R-A-I-D-E. Don't ask why, it's a long story. And um, if you do send me a friend request, please send a message with where you got my name because I get a lot of just random friend requests and it's like, I don't know who you are. And I think that's enough. That's about it. And um, up next is probably going to be Assassin's Creed 3, which I have been trying to beat pretty, pretty much. Things are really in an upheaval right now because of personal stuff. But hopefully that'll work out. Oh, and my birthday is this Sunday, November 18th. I'm turning 27. I'm such an old hag. <sighs> anyway, you can wish me happy birthday if you want, so, or not, it's up to you. Thanks for watching, and, um, I guess I'll see you guys once I can make a more concise Halo 4 review. See you guys later.